What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is day number two and today we are gonna go ahead and start cleaning out the engine bay. We are gonna remove headlights, we're gonna remove fenders, we are gonna remove all these little uh, bolts that are all over the place. Try to get as much of this wire harness off as, as we can or at least um, out of the way. And we're gonna start getting this engine bay ready because we are gonna be scuffing it we are going to be sanding it and we are going to be um, doing a color change to it. I already got the paint sitting right here. Not going to reveal the color quite yet, but it is a color change. And today I believe that what I really want to get done is I want to lay some flat black all around down here. In the rack and pinion, you guys can see how there's like um it's black right here and then it, it goes into like regular um metal so i want to use even everything out make everything nice and and black also any of these little brackets i want to do a color change and all of this i'm gonna go ahead and lay some charcoal metallic and this charcoal metallic is really gonna change this it's gonna make this engine bay look really nice, especially once that that uh, final color goes on this whole engine bay. It's going to look really clean, really nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit everything. I know this is overkill with this uh, impact, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit everything with it. Just removing. I don't know what this is, what this mess is that you got going on right here. And I don't know what this is either. You got a red wire going to the ground. It's coming off. So it's been over an hour 
and I went ahead and I pulled all the lines off as you guys can see I did that off camera everything's off everything's nice and clean because I hit it with this right here not to clean it but to scuff it up all of this then I went ahead and I hit this with 180 I hit it with 320 and I hit it with 400 I also took this right here I hit all of this and I also hit this guy afterwards and down here I went ahead and I used the scotch bright just to scuff everything up right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taping all my areas that I don't want to be uh, sprayed and I'm gonna go ahead also and I am gonna go clean everything really good with some mineral spirits which I have right here I'm using the odorless mineral spirits just to wipe everything nice and clean everything's nice and clean and this is what I'm gonna be using right here this is flat black and the flat black is actually gonna go right here and on here and for all these lines right there I really like the way how this looks it's metallic charcoal from Rust-Oleum and this is only gonna be for the lines I've used this many times before and let me tell you that it looks sharp especially after the whole engine bay gets sprayed it's gonna look very sharp I went ahead and I laid some more paper so it's easier for you guys to see the color change also I cover up, covered up both of my boots on each side and I covered this guy up and we are ready to lay some paint I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off um, with the matte black up there I'm not worried about getting overspray on the red because of the fact that tomorrow we're going to be wet sanding the whole engine bay because of the color change that we're doing. I just laid three coats on that and it's looking really good. It's starting to flash right now. So I'm going to go ahead and lay some metallic. This paint dries pretty quick, especially with the fan just blowing right here. But I went ahead and I removed all the tape from these guys on each side. And the paint looks really good. I love the way how it looks, looks fresh. Look at the brake booster. It looks so nice. And then all these lines, so shiny. So, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video here tomorrow we are gonna go ahead and start scuffing the whole engine bay we are gonna remove all these stickers that are all over the place remove those stickers uh, take the grinder to this side smooth everything out right here just make it nice and flush and we are gonna go ahead and scuff the whole thing down and see if we can lay some primer. That's our our thing for tomorrow, to lay primer. And we'll be right on schedule. But it's looking really good. So if you guys enjoy this video and you guys wanna see more content like this, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe if you have not.
either way i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night i'll catch you guys on my next video peace out stay safe catch you guys on the next one